All right, guys. So that's a little tour of the apartment. I hope I didn't expose anything that could lead the minions of the dark ones to vilify or try to lampoon me in any way, but you never know. And uh, you can't worry about everything all the time. If you always try to get everything perfect, you're never going to get it done. But uh, definitely do everything to the best of your ability. And Bushido, you know, the way of the scholar warrior really is a combination of Lunar Light Entertainment proudly presents the 100 day magical challenge way of the scholar warrior right, guys welcome to the 100 day challenge way of the scholar warrior one of the first things on my challenge the first 10 day cycle which we're just about out because it's day eight is getting everything in order so let's have a look at the apartment tell me what you think i got some uh couple more days of things to do today's the new moon as well and it's going to be a a bit of an eclipse for some of you there in the united states and uh, we won't experience here in China, so not to worry. It is the year of the dragon, and it is, it is the, the dragon returning. There's a, uh, a comet or something uh, that's going to appear between Jupiter and Uranus during this eclipse. So uh, I think the United States has uh, probably some dark occult rituals uh, focused on the releasing of the dragon. All right, welcome, wizard, warrior, wanderer, and wayfarer alike, wherever you are whoever you are and whenever you may be receiving this. We're going to take a little apartment tour here. Starting off with the bathroom, we'll just be quick. Here's what the bathroom looks like. It could use some greater order, but a couple of things I installed for order in this challenge is this little tray here and this, uh, this tray here for soap. And then my wife did that one and that one, thanks to her. She put me some Irish spring there in the shower. She did quite a few other things that I think are superfluous, like this kind of thing and some others. So I won't get into it, but there it is there. Then as soon as we come out the door, there's some room tasks I still need to finish. You can see I put some energy into thinking about room tasks. So here they are here. And then uh, this is the stuff that needs to get ordered now. It's my jacket for my school. And then all of this stuff here on the right needs to be organized because winter's over. And uh, let's go ahead and have a look at the room. So some things I want to finish in this next cycle, diligence. I want to finish this little painting here. And for order, I want to get that put away. I want to get this more organized. And uh, that looks pretty good there. But here's my main area. Of my main work. area of work where I sit and do most of my work is off here to the right. It's kind of my, my office area in this apartment. But anyway, just glancing really quick up, I can see the alchemical symbol of how to do inner alchemy. And then I can see some other things and Mr. Fish, of course. But all this has been organized recently. It may look disordered, but it's actually ordered. All of this has received greater order um this has received about the extent of order it's going to get for now and then yeah everything's pretty ordered it may look totally confusing to you but in fact it's not this one table needs to receive some order treatment but that's pretty much it man so Frank Monday sits right here, your host for the hour, and broadcasts live from the central kingdom of the Celestial Dragon, Twilight Zone, Old Peking. So, the 100-day challenge uh, this year, 2024 Spring Challenge, began at the bequ be bequest of Frater Thomas Sund. It began on April 1st. So, for me, I'm on the 8th day, and anybody who is coming into the 8th day... Day of the Great Eclipse, the uh, loosening of the dragon, as it were, um, is going to be right at the same thing. So for me, the first um, 10 day, let's have a real quick look at that, if I can find a pin really quick. I haven't been updating this calendar, because I had another another one at my table. But uh, yeah, day three, four, five, six, seven, and today is a new moon, right? And tomorrow, starting in tomorrow, will be the third month by the lunar solar year. Huangdi, 4722 is the year. So we'll say yellow emperor year. Yay. Um, anyway, uh, this is today. It's done here. I've worked on uh, curls, tries, and pushes, and then uh, push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. I haven't marked it on here. I usually do, but I haven't been using this calendar. I've been using one down at my desk. 
Um, so for this first 10 day up to here, I was working on order. And as a reminder, at the start of the challenge, I made myself a nice good plaque for my first virtue. There are going to be 10 virtues, guys, and this is the first one, order. So fast and dirty, we'll look really quick at the schedule I've made for myself on the Scholar Warrior 100 Day Challenge, which is day eight now, just reminding you guys. Um, no, no matter where you're at, this challenge is always valid, right? Just, just from whenever you start to whenever you finish is 100 days, but you got to set that 100 day mark. Okay, so let me set that down. Um, so to start off with, I've got things that are within my kin. I believe these are on the side of the scholar, right? So I put them over here on the left. And we've got the 10 virtues, which I created based on Benjamin Franklin's 13 virtues. I've only got 10. I'm not as ambitious. Well, he used a year for his. But number one, you could see there in bold, in, at there at the top, number one is order. So the next one I'm going to be going into is diligence. And then hum and each one for 10 days, of course. The next one, humility, dutifulness, sobriety, temperance, frugality, fortitude and perseverance perseverance and rectitude okay and then um i've started myself a bit of a short bibliography of authors i'm going to be focused on marcus aurelius benjamin franklin and where well the bibliography of where i'm deriving these techniques from there will be others of course in the zen area on the side of the warrior i've got my kung fu my basic kung fu and i'm calling this zen this is ken scholar warrior zen wushu and bushido Bushido has the code of focusing on a single thing at a single time, right? doing one activity to its fullest. Whatever you do, do it with all your might. And then um, the Atlas system, which I've told you before, is just uh, self-resistance. So doing push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. And then for my Kung Fu regimen, I've got Shingi, um, Bagua, and uh, sword, sword practice. Okay, it's over here. You can't see clearly. The basic system I'm going to be teaching to you guys is in... Uh, three parts, three basic parts with three activities each. So in warm-ups, you've got pound, rotate, and stretch, and each of those will have three. So three, 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 everything dividing by three. And you'll think Scholar Warrior, it's binary, right? Well, down here at the bottom, I'm going to give you a third and make it uh, triangulate, right? So, okay, let's get back into it. Warm-ups, uh, kicks, you're going to have front side and crescent, plus doubles as an advanced practice. Anything going beyond three will be advanced. Uh, punches is going to, it's actually divides into five, which is metal, water, wood, fire, and earth. And then uh, weapons, and I'm going to be doing sword, staff, and my wand. So finally, to turn this binary system into a... A uh, threefold system, a trilogy, a um, trinity, a triangulation, whatever you like, um, a taiji. We're gonna be we're gonna be adding yen to it. So you've got uh, in basic, simple encoding, it's yen, ken, and zen. Let's have a look at how that will fit into our ongoing tree of development with the three guardian angels, um, Volantia, the magician's will this will be our yen our desire right our will decreeism will be the kin section this is the knowledge lectures occur there and then zen of course will go at the top here right this enlightened section so by the latin it's volantia or the active attentive willpower of the magician the magician's will and then decreeism, which is the commanding into being, the formula, the methodology section, the magic, right? There's the magician there at the center. And then possism, the reception, right? The reunion with the great uh, divine Godhead energy. And uh, down here at the bottom is a little bit of a mystery science picture that uh, I will reveal at a later date. All right, now for this section, guys, just talk a little bit about my altar, or one of my altars, but altars in general. An altar is where you keep a sacred statue just to remind you, so it's an image, right? It's not idolatry, you're not worshiping the image, you're using the image as a reference point of an archetype, so that anytime you're in your space and dwelling, you are reminded that there are divine ascended masters and uh, gar angels and a whole, whole in, uh, celestial sphere of beings that are uh, that have an eye on you. Uh, human beings like to think that they have privacy, but no, you're always surrounded by spiritual entities, good and bad. Uh, Hopefully, if you're a practitioner, they're all good. But 
attend to your altars, you know, burn some fragrant incense, maybe light a candle. Of course, be safe. You can see in this situation, the incense has to come out from under the shelf. Otherwise, there's risk of doing damage there, and you can't actually burn any candles on this one. So this one's pretty much candle free, but I do burn incense there in the uh, incense burner. I do recommend that if you want greater wealth, that you start a wealth altar to some, and, and put some, again, it's not to anything. It's just, it's to remind you. So they work as pneumat pneumatic aids, right? So I usually put a little dragon creature down for my money altars, and then I throw money on them, right? Random money, especially lucky money, like money you find and that you manifest with your mind. Like you think, oh, I wish I'd find a coin just for fun. And then you find one, it twinkles off at the side of your eye and you walk over and pick it up, uh, that kind of thing. And also you should always keep some fruit in front of it. Fruit uh, will encourage the energy of the spiritual realm to uh, attend to that. So this one is Pichu. He's the ninth son of the dragon. Guys, I got one more small altar I like to keep, and I keep the god of longevity over here. Just, you know, again, a statue of the... Um, Chinese patron of longevity. We'll just call it that a saint, maybe perhaps. And it really represents Lao Tzu. But then I've got a uh, beautiful um, Rider White tarot deck here. This is my daughter's. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to show you the rest of this altar because it has a lot of ritual items on it that have been magically charged and are not meant to be seen by their profane, even though some of them are, um, all of them, in fact, most of them, one's open, but uh, are wrapped in ritual cloths to keep them out of the uh, out of the eye, eye, eye shot of the profane, as it were. Um, I'm still not going to put them on camera, but I will let you know that there's a little I Ching there. That's always nice and fun to have. So divination is definitely a part of the Scholar Warrior's endeavors. All right, guys. So that's a little tour of the apartment. Um, I hope I didn't expose anything that could... Um, lead the minions of the dark ones to vilify or try to um, lampoon me in any way, but you never know. And uh, you can't worry about everything all the time. If you always try to get everything perfect, you're never going to get it done. But uh, definitely do everything to the best of your ability. And Bushido, you know, the way of the Scholar Warrior really is a combination of Bushido and Shushen. Um yeah, and uh, one's a Japanese term, one's a Chinese term, so uh, maybe I'll give definition to those a little bit later on. I think that's going to be it for now, guys. Um, just remember, the uh, path of the Scholar Warrior is toward ascension, right? And ultimately, we all do take that great walk from east to west into the timeless homeland and beyond the abodes of night. Thank you for joining me on The Way of the Scholar Warrior, 100 Day magical challenge. Special dedication to Frater Thomas Sund, rest in peace, beloved, and a special thanks to Crystal Rose for all of her support over at www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Frank Monday. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for watching Lunar Light Entertainment. Have a great day.